Nation of Fit and Tended is day two. And uh, if you happen to check out the video that I uploaded this morning, it's upside down, okay? It's upside down, we're not getting off to a good start here, at least your coach isn't. Um, I don't know what happened, I, I uploaded it yesterday, it was upside down. So I deleted it and I re-uploaded it again. And it was upside down, and every time I uploaded it takes, you know, it, it, it just, it takes a while, anywhere from, you know, one or two hours. So I uploaded it again, and you know, I got up at 4 a.m. to see where it was at, and uh, and it was upside down again. So I'm like, okay, well, it's upside down. So at least you can still hear me in the video, and uh, maybe you just want to turn your phone upside down, and then you'll see me upright. I don't know why this happened. I've uploaded like maybe probably around 700 videos. I'd have to look on YouTube, and um, I've never had this problem. So it is what it is. My apologies. Hopefully this one won't be okay. I guess we'll find out here soon. Uh, it is, as I mentioned, day two, and hopefully you're feeling things out. Hopefully you're um, feeling things out in, in, the ter in terms of where things are going to go in your calendar, right? Which days are you going to work out? Which days are you going to do cardio? Uh, which days you're going to plan your, uh, your food, right? You need to plan your food. You, you cannot wing this portion of the challenge. You, I don't want you to go through your days just sort of plugging things in as the day goes on and then getting to the end of the day and being like, oh, okay, I'm 50 grams short of protein and I'm, you know, I'm over fat by 20. No, we don't want to do this, right? We want to try to, to, uh, to plug these things in in advance. Now, I realize it's day two and you're just learning, so you're not there yet, but that's where I want you to be, you know, at the end of, of this coming week, okay? I want you to have all your food in and have it planned and prepared. And like I said, you could always Slack me, right? You can always send me a message in Slack and, um, and, and show me your breakdown of your macros, okay? So um, you just take a little snapshot of your uh, macronutrient breakdown in my fitness pal and just send it on over as a photo, of course. Okay, so um, just to recap here with the workouts, right? You're gonna do three resistance-based workouts per week. That's either an, an online Zoom class or if you're a full-fledged member, you're coming into the gym to do the classes, okay, or the supervised workouts as we call them right now. Um, and uh, so just to, just to make it clear, these workouts, for those of you coming in the gym, these are termed as supervised workout with coach. Supervised workout with coach, this is in your Zen Planner app, okay? I am, I will be very shortly here. Uh, adding classes to Sunday as well. So there'll be two morning classes on Sunday. All right, so stay tuned for this. Let's talk about the diet in more detail, okay? Let's talk about some general concerns and they've already come through. A big one that I'm gonna get right away is, do I have to eat all the food that I'm given? For example, carbohydrates. Do I have to meet those carbohydrates? Yes, you do. Wouldn't I lose more weight if I if I ate less? The answer is yes, okay? So we're gonna get into why I want you to do this. Okay, so I want you to meet all your macros. Just remember this. It's about being reasonable and consistent over time. We are only starting to dig, okay? So as time goes on, and hopefully you're consistent with your numbers, you will see that perhaps today you are not hungry, but as you follow these numbers, you will get hungry, okay? So, you know, it's it's sort of akin to, maybe let's say you've, you haven't worked in a couple of years, okay? Just, let's just assume you haven't, okay? You haven't, you didn't have a job, okay? You didn't have to do any work, you didn't have kids or whatever, you had no responsibilities. And all of a sudden I say, okay, you're gonna go into work and you're gonna work, you know, five days a week for, you know, 10 hours a day. He said, well, I can work I can work 18 hours a day. Why would I do that? I can work more, I can make more money. Just do that. Well, okay, you can do that, but as time goes on, you're going to get very tired and worn out. Okay? This is the same thing with your food intake. Just trust me on this. So we're gonna keep, I'm gonna I'm gonna encourage you to get all of these levels of food in per day. And again, I want you to try to get real whole food. These uh, real whole food items are obviously going to be more nutritionally dense, right? Not just macronutrients we're not just talking about here. We're talking about micronutrients and phytonutrients and all these great things that are good for our bodies, uh, generally speaking. And um, 
this is this is very important for not just making some improvement in the program, but obviously for your health and your well-being, right? So we want to focus on real whole foods, at least for the most part. There are some processed foods, which we'll talk about soon, which will be okay, okay, which are totally acceptable. But for the most part, you know, again, as I said yesterday, if you can, you know, if you can pick it, pull it, kill it, or harvest it, um, generally speaking, you can have it, okay? So focus on these and focus on getting your numbers. So I'm going to say it again. If you are under your numbers, I want you to work on getting um, those numbers, meeting those numbers that I've given you, okay? Now, for the first couple of weeks here, I'm giving you a 10% buffer, so over and under, okay? So if you're supposed to have, let's just say for argument's sake, 200 grams of carbohydrates per day, I will allow you to be anywhere from 180 to 220 grams of carbohydrates per day, okay? And this, the same with the 10% uh, uh, towards fat and your, your protein, okay? And I will tighten up this buffer as uh, time goes on, okay? So start entering your food and all your food. Start trying to plan. Look in your booklet, in the booklet towards the back. Forget the page now. I don't have a booklet in front of me here. In that booklet, you've got a non-exhaustive list of common proteins, fats, and, uh, and carbohydrates. Start there and start entering it into your app, okay? Now, be very, very careful, and we'll talk about this more in detail. With the app, you've got to make sure that the number of servings and portion sizes are correct, as well as is the data actually reflective of what you're eating, not just in servings and serving sizes, but is the entry in my fitness pal accurate? And generally, the, the entries are pretty good, but I'm going to really encourage you to use entries that have that little green shield with the white check mark in it. That means the food has been verified. Okay, so try to use verified foods. Okay, all right, so again, right, we've got those three workouts to do, three in the gym workouts or Zoom workouts, resistance based workouts to do per week. These are an hour each. Try to space them out. Okay, um, I will just add to that if you're doing the in the gym classes, there's essentially an A and a B workout. So getting and they, so for example, Monday's A, Tuesday's B, Wednesday's off, uh, Thursday's A, Friday's B, Saturdays uh, are going to be off, and then Sunday we're going to go back to A, and it just continues like that. So my point is, is if you have these two workouts back to back, it's going to be okay because they're they're sort of like opposite workouts. So one's going to be lower body focused, one's going to be upper body focused. So don't worry about having to create space between the two. Okay. In fact, it's going to work better with the way we have it scheduled to do two back to back. Okay. So as I kind of digress here, but three Zoom classes per week or three in the gym classes per week, three cardio sessions per week. This is done on your own. Meet those heart rates. Okay, these are half an hour sessions. This week you're doing seven intervals. The intervals are 20 seconds long and you're gonna to try to get your heart rate up to that higher number each of those 20 seconds. Okay, so do those three cardio sessions per week and do your best to get your food in, okay? All right, all of your food, all of it. Okay, yes, some is better than none. But of course, uh, most is best, right? Okay. All right. And with that, being said, with that being said, let's get to the message of the day. And the message of the day is this. If you fail to plan, you plan to fail. If you fail to plan, you plan to fail. It really is that easy. And we see it time and time again throughout the challenges. So, and it's not so much that people fail. They just don't do as well. Okay. So plan everything out. You cannot wing this. You cannot wing this. I'm going to say it one more time. You cannot, you cannot wing this challenge, okay? So plan it out, organize yourself. It's 70 days and you can do this, okay? Positive energy, positive vibes, believe in yourself. For the love of God, give some gratitude. I'll talk to you all very soon. See you guys.